Uh, hello. Hello, I'm Amy, and this is my colleague Ted. We're apostles of the local Wylan Witness Church. Do you have a minute to hear the word of Billy Bob the Holy Butcher? <laughs> I read about him in the newspaper. Oh, I bet you two do the kinkiest stuff behind closed doors. With the plant. What's up guys and welcome to Do Not Feed the Monkeys. So I've joined some kind of secret Illuminati group who have made a bit of a game of spying on people. And the way this is gonna work is I need to observe people and deduce information, report back to the group, but the one rule that they have is that I'm not allowed to interact with anybody that I'm watching. Do not feed the monkeys. It's like a zoo. Now whether or not I'm gonna follow that rule, we'll see. The Primate Observation Club, a dear new member. Following a strict vetting process, your membership application has been approved. Welcome to our club for wildlife enthusiasts. Please read the contract carefully and accept the following terms and conditions. I don't usually read terms and conditions, but I get the feeling this might actually be important. Bases, one, the club is an organization dedicated to the study of primates in their natural habitat, otherwise known as people at home at work, so on and so forth. As a member, you have the privilege of observing the specimens in the cages loaded in your Monkey Vision 2.1 application. So I'm pretty sure a cage is technically the field of view of one of my cameras. They're not actually like rounded up into cages like a zoo. Two, to maintain your club privileges, you will be obligated to move up one level every five days, which will require you to purchase a certain number of cages. Three, you will start at level one, friend of the monkeys. You will need to purchase five additional cages to move up to the next level. Four, every five days, the organization will meet to evaluate your progress. If you have not met your target, you will be expelled immediately. I don't really wanna know what that means. I get the feeling you don't walk away from a club like this. Privacy, five, do not discuss the club or its activities with anyone. Never uninstall the application. Like I said, six, and above all, do not forget that interaction with the primates is strictly forbidden. Remember, do not feed the monkeys. We'll see, okay? I'll accept for now. In the event of any infringement of these rules, I grant the club the absolute right to apply the relevant disciplinary measures to me. Like I said, I, I really doubt that the disciplinary measures are a fine or a paddling or something like that. It, it's probably not going to be great. So if we're going to break the rules, let's try not to get caught. Now, I've told you guys everything that I know about the game. Everything from here on out, I'm in the dark. I got no idea. So we're installing Monkey Vision 2.1 for the first time. We also have mail calendar finances. And by the looks of it, I need to eat, sleep, earn money. Watch my health. Interesting. Oh, and time is passing. All right. Uh, mail. We have uh, terms and conditions. Yeah, we'll need to remember those. Payment confirmation. Nothing interesting there. Calendar. Uh, the landlady will be by for rent, which is $90. I have exactly $90. She'll be here in three days. Okay, good to know. And then our finances, not much going on. All right, then. Let's check out our monkey vision. Ooh. Okay. So we have... Some lady in her attic hanging pictures. We have a chicken coop, a great look at the inside of a museum, and what looks like some kind of factory. Weird. When there's activity in a cage, the LED light comes on accompanied by an audible signal. Okay, so what are you up to, lady? Okay, now topless, terrific. Wait, what? You said something about topless and suddenly piqued my interest. Click on the words in yellow that appear in the dialogues, websites, or newspaper articles to add them to your notebook. You can also click on highlighted objects on the screen. Okay, so this is how we're going to observe our monkeys. We have to figure out what they're saying, what's in their cage, and then I guess use our computer to look up those words on the internet and in newspapers and stuff like that. And then all of this is gonna lead to something that we need to report back to the group before five days. Or we need that promotion or else we're gonna get our disciplinary actions. Every flash means a fistful of dollars for me, darling. We also have a window and a camera. Come on, show me everything. Show me everything. <laughs> That's it, that was great. You're my favorite star. You seem to have 
photographs. You really know how... You take my breath away. I'll be waiting for you at 1400, beauty. Oh. Oh, okay. So, it's 10 to 11 now. I'm guessing if we come back at 1400, that's how time plays into this. Something interesting will be happening. What else do we have? We have skis. <laughs> a mannequin. Empty boxes. Oh, something just happened. Uh, Anything of interest? Click on the question marks and select the term you think best corresponds to the words in the circle. If you change your mind, just use the delete icon. Once created, you can use the new word in the search engine to move forward in your investigation. So this must be how we're getting context of what we're seeing. Right, we've observed empty boxes, a mannequin, a window, skis, and we can judge whether or not that's a basement, an attic, or a garage. And then if we get it right, we can use that word in newspaper articles, web searches, stuff like that to try to figure out what's going on here. Sounds pretty good. Okay, well, I would imagine that all of this would amount to an attic, right? Because it's got, like, the slanted pitched ceiling? Um, hello? Updating chat me go. Masked Maiden wants to talk. Hey, are you there? That really depends who's asking. You the kind for disciplinary action or pleasure? It wasn't easy, but you got in. You're part of the elite, my friend. You can thank me later, LOL. Now, you know what you have to do. Play by the rules and save up a ton of money. I already got 90 bucks, I'm laughing. I told you being a club member wasn't cheap. Now don't make me look bad after all I've done for you. What were the rules again? The money thing might be a problem, or I've got to go. Uh, could you just run over those rules again real quick? I wasn't totally clear on them. They were a little vague. Come on. I just want to know if they're going to turn me inside out or not, okay? I've been telling you about them for weeks. You have to hit your targets. If you don't, the organization will kick you out. It's that simple. It's not that simple. They actually met yesterday to evaluate mine. I've moved up another level, my friend. If I keep going like this, it won't be long before I'm hobnobbing with the club Muckety Mucks. <laughs> How do I get in with the Muckety Mucks? I need to know more. <laughs> well, you also have to be discreet. They don't like us going round blabbing about the club. This is something very top secret. Ah, and then there's the part about... Do not feed the monkeys. Do not feed the monkeys? Not messing around with the cages. Not bothering the apes. Not interacting with the people you're spying on. They like to use very cryptic messages so I guess they don't get caught. Not throwing them peanuts. Come on, you know, zero interaction. That's something the organization doesn't like at all. Though, to be honest, that rule is something that, well, something that... What's the deal with that rule? Well... Let's just say nothing. Forget about it. We'll talk about that later on. I want to know now. Um, you know, I got 90 bucks. But the landlady's coming in three days and she wants like exactly 90 bucks. So how else do I earn money here? Use a little help with that. You want to wire me some money? I know you told me about all your shit jobs, but cages are expensive. I can buy more cages? If you don't buy cages, you're out. Right, you see? I don't know the rules all that well. <laughs> you knew that before you joined, my friend. So start working some overtime. And there are other ways of making money. What are you talking about? Come on, use your imagination. There's plenty of dough out there. Maybe I could get a little in feeding the monkeys, perhaps? It all depends on how much you're willing to get involved. I'd be willing to cut my right hand off to stay in the club. I use my right hand for a lot of more important things than monkey business, so I gotta go, okay? It's been nice talking to you, crazy lady, but right, your monkey vision must have been just installed. I suppose you're dying to observe your cages. Be careful, because this shit's addictive. <laughs> what do you mean, addictive? This is worse than tobacco. I don't think it is. I think tobacco kills you. I spent so much time on it for the first week that I didn't eat or sleep. I almost ended up in the hospital. Right, I need to eat, sleep, watch my health, all that stuff. I see. So eat properly and rest from time to time. Okay, we'll talk again soon. User is offline. 
Well then, that cleared up less than nothing. So the sneaky peeky lady won't be back until 4 o'clock and it's noon now. Is there anything else of interest? Oh, here we go. We got a cap. And we also have this. Flash camera, photographs, and topless. Sneaked photos, artistic nude shots, or selfies. Of really? <laughs> I think it's pretty clear that this is some sneaky nudes. I like it. Come to think of it, I don't know why I didn't question the fact that this lady said that she would be back at 14 o'clock out loud to herself. There's so much weird about that. She's also been developing more photos. Can't quite tell if they're titty pics from here. Mmm, come on, Cotton Princess, give me everything you've got. Everything. Uh, make that cash register sing. Come on, a little gift for your fans. Lady, what are you talking about? You're pure gold, darling, pure gold. And you are batshit crazy. That's it, in front of the mirror. Beautiful, photogenic, fantastic as always. I really want to open up my book and see what this means. You're much more modest in my limousine, beautiful. Uh, well, well, without a doubt, the hottest star in the firmament next session is a few hours, honey. Wait, what, what? Hello? Do I have a door? Somebody's knocking on my door and she's gone. That's just great. Um, okay. How do I just, oh, I have a room. Hello? Where are you deadbeat? Remember that I'm coming by to collect the rent in two days in the afternoon, $90 as usual. Have the money ready. I don't want any excuses, the landlady. Really? The, she came by and knocked on my door to remind me that I pay rent here and she came in the middle of a weekday and then thought I was a deadbeat for not answering the door. I, I could have been working. We also have uh, jobs. Dishwasher. <laughs> Dishwashing assistant. Wanted for well-known hamburger restaurant. Great career possibilities. Gloves and scouring pads supplied by the company. Requisites, none, just ambition, a strong desire to learn. Wage, $84. Work from 12 till midnight. Duration, eight hours. Okay. Um, I think that lady said that she would be back in a few hours, so I probably don't want to do that. What else do we got? Waiter, wait staff wanted in luxury restaurant to serve our most exclusive customers. Good pay and tips, requirements, prior experience in catering and or food service. So I need to do the other job before I can do this job. $110, eight hours, interesting. And dog walker, animal lover wanted to care for and walk purebred poodles in the deluxe park. Geek skills, physical fitness. A dog napper is on the loose. Wage, $46, four hours. Hmm, I don't know if I really wanna risk it, but eat something. Uh, we have an apple and a hot dog. That's all I've got to my name. Okay, well, we're gonna eat our apple. That doesn't really do a whole lot. Not sure how healthy I'm gonna be surviving entirely off of fruit, yogurt, chicken, and coffee, but we'll make it work. I also have, oh, and I have fast food. Okay, we also have pizza, hot dogs, and Chinese food, I guess, and that is 24 seven. I'm assuming that comes a lot faster than grocery shopping. Let's, um, Hmm, let's not buy groceries because I only have exactly $90 and my landlady seems like a hard ass. So I'm guessing instead we can just uh, keep an eye out. Oh, 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 she's back. What is she saying? Same thing as before. We might have everything that we need actually. What do we have going on down here? No, these aren't circled. She's gone. So I need to learn more. Oh. If I click on a word, then I get my browser. It would be nice if somebody explained that to me. Research the terms written in your notebook by clicking on one word to enter it in your search engine, then click the search for me button. Okay. You can also research a pair of terms by clicking on two words to enter them in the search engine, then click the search for me button. Okay, so we can do one or two. So let's go with uh, limousine and cap. Did not find anything of interest. Okay, well we could just, uh, what do we just look up limousine? Anything interesting in limousine? 
No? Oh, okay, so we're looking for golden words here, highlighted things of interest. So if we didn't get star from what she said, we would get it here. So we have gold, dollars, limousine, cap, empty boxes, mannequin, window skis, fantastic star, cotton princess is something that I don't understand. I also have an email. Voluntary observation studies. Dear member, as a club member, we invite you to collaborate in our wildlife observation studies. To do so, you will need to provide us with certain information about some of the cages loaded in your monkey vision. Once we have verified that your information is correct, you will be compensated for your work. Color me interested. We remind you that these are voluntary assignments, so hopefully I won't get a paddle in as a result of failure, and that declining to participate will not affect your relationship with the club in any way. Beautiful. If you are interested in collaborating, keep an eye on your email. The Primate Observation Club. Okay. Good, good. Um, I wanted to look up Cotton Princess. Oh, here we go. Uh, a box office record for the premiere of Cotton Princess 3, the third and final movie of the saga, a box office a hit in its first weekend. That didn't make any sense. The film, based on the life of its tremendous leading lady, tells the story of an aspiring singer who makes all her dreams come true. Hordes of teens packed the country's theaters this weekend. Interesting. So we know that this lady is taking pictures, oh, now she's doing it at night, of some woman, we would imagine. Topless, uh, we, that's what we've kind of gathered. So she's taking pictures of the Cotton Princess, uh, athlete, model, or actress. Film, star, movie, leading lady, okay, we would assume actress. So now we need to figure out gold, dollars, limousine, cap. Um, okay, what if we look up Limousine star. No. Right. We're supposed to look up the words that we've deduced. So what if we look up sneaked photos and actress? Here we go. <laughs> this is much more my pace. Investigation of ring selling and trading nude photos of famous women. The shots can command a high price on the black market. According to the authorities, photographs of actresses and singers are the most requested and bring the highest price. There is always some pervert ready to pay a fortune for them, a police spokesman said. Ooh. Here we go. Black market, fortune, dollars, gold, money, a lot of money, or a ton of money. <laughs> Probably a ton of money. Oh, okay. I also have a newspaper. This is of interest. Uh, new evidence about senile dementia? No. Om the jewel in the hexa crown? No. Billy Bob Wylan, the holy butcher, would be a hundred years old today. That's nice. The economic situation is very good for 95% of those surveyed. So this isn't really of any help. Go figure, the internet trumps newspapers. I don't suppose I'd be so lucky to look up topless photographs and... Oh dear, that is a whole lot of 8-bit boobage. <laughs> that one's just for me. How about we try to learn more about the target? What if we look up uh, Cotton Princess Leading Lady? Here we go, Ashley Applegate. Oh, that's who it is. Wait, the target, not the person taking the photographs. Clearly, that is not the frumpy lady taking the photographs. Premiere of Cotton Princess, Ashley Applegate, shows she's just as good an actress as she is a singer. Our beloved Ashley Applegate announces a new record and tour for next year. From child star to mass idol, this is the biography of the world's best artist. Andrew Haynes and a phone number. Hiring, huh? Well, I, I could uh, maybe use a job. If you have a contact in your notebook, you can use the telephone or chat by clicking the corresponding icon. Remember, the chat also lets you send videos. Ooh, that sounds like we're getting dangerously close to feeding the monkeys territory. I should probably eat and sleep and stuff like that. Eat my one hot dog, which is gonna make me a little more unhealthy. <laughs> sleep for five hours? Sure, I'm gonna heed the advice of my masked mistress. We'll figure this out in the morning. And I think today the landlady is coming. Day two. Your current club ranking is level one. 
friend of the monkeys. Days remaining until next evaluation, four. You have four out of nine cameras needed to move up to the next level. Don't you mean cages? The landlady will be back tomorrow. Okay, so she's not actually here today, and we have a new newspaper. New evidence about senile dementia, the electoral campaign begins, shock TV, home videos, sex and violence in prime time, and the Corsairs in the playoffs. So again, nothing of interest for us, but we do have an email. Record low prices, today only 33% off fruit. Yeah, I should probably buy groceries. Uh... Hello? Hello, I'm Amy, and this is my colleague Ted. We're apostles of the local Wylan Witness Church. Do you have a minute to hear the word of Billy Bob the Holy Butcher? <laughs> I read about him in the newspaper. Oh, I bet you two do the kinkiest stuff behind closed doors. With the plant. Honestly, I'm kinda busy, but it looks like the game is paused, so sure, I'll hear what you got to say. Why not? Try to give me the Coles Notes version. Wonderful, I'll tell you a bit about him. Billy Bob Wylan was a humble butcher living in the country's most rural region. He was slicing bacon one day and found a secret message formed by the fat in one of the slices. Okay, you gotta slow down. I needed to know what that message was. It seems kind of important to the story. Cut me some slack here. He. We want to ask you a favor before we go. We're going to leave this beautiful plant with you. Would you look after it for us? We'll come back, take it away again in a few days, and if you're a good person, the Wyland witnesses can trust you. Um, what? I, I don't want your kink plant. I guess I don't really have a choice. Oh, okay, thank you. What did I just get myself into? I'm starting to think there are a lot of strange things happening in this game. I can also get coffee. Oh, that'll make me less tired. Okay, no, I need to order food. We need to get fruit. All the fruit. I just earned $42. I'm gonna spend $40 of it on fruit. Oh, here we go. Okay, hello? Who are you? Hello, you haven't seen my cat around here by chance. I haven't heard from him in years. No, your cat isn't in my apartment. Come on, what is it you want? Or get lost, I've got things to do. Yeah, I'm, I'm a very important man. I'm, I'm spying on people who are spying. Okay, okay, important person and very busy. I'll leave you in peace. You've changed, pal. Did I know him? I don't think I knew who that was. I did a quick job last night because I desperately need food. Uh... Are pizzas on sale? I think pizzas are on sale. Okay, I, I want pizzas. Thank you. Something's going on over here. Um, uh, hold on. I, I just, I really don't want to miss stuff. Yes, I'm here. What, what's going on? I'm missing, like, just a few words. It has to be it. And I'm dying of hunger. How's it going? How did your first few days go? I'm doing great. I've almost reached the top. By the way, have you fed them yet? What top are you talking about? I don't get what the purpose is. The top of the pyramid, my friend. The club is divided into levels, and only the chosen few make it into the very top level. Only they get to see the cage of the great primate. I still haven't gotten anyone to tell me what that is, but it's got to be something huge. Sounds pretty good, right? Sure, yeah, it, it actually does. Maybe the great primate's hot, who knows? The organization has told me that they're happy with me. That my progress is very good. I can practically taste the cage of the great primate. I'll let you in on a big secret. When I get there... Okay, um... Feed who? The monkeys? I need to learn more. You'll see, we're not supposed to talk about this, but nearly everyone does it. Almost every one of us feeds the monkeys. It's very tempting, my friend. Plus, paying for the cages is very expensive. What does the cost of the cages have to do with it? Damn it, do I have to spell everything out to you? The monkeys are a good source of income. If you're clever and know how to feed them. You have to be very discreet, though. If you don't want to run into problems. Problems with the organization, I suppose. Exactly. You know how it is. If they catch you, you're out. And then there's the police to worry about. If the monkeys figure it out and report you, they could end up bringing the whole club down. 
All right, I've got to go. I've got important monkey business to get back to, but thank you for clearing some things up. Okay, go back to what you're doing. By the way, did you take my advice? What advice? Take care of yourself. I did, I slept. I, I, I'm feeling all right. I would be eating right now if it wasn't for your gabby mouth. <laughs> Don't let yourself go or, or things could go south for you. And the club needs us to be in good shape. Try not to eat junk food. Get some exercise. Pizza's on the way. Go to the supermarket and make sure you get enough sleep. We'll talk later. Okay, bye. And she's gone. How long does it take for a pizza to arrive? I could have swore. Oh, here we go. Uh, please don't murder me. Greetings, my motorcycle is guided by destiny. One never knows the road until it becomes one's own road. Well, the GPS sometimes helps too. Here's your order. Here's a $3 tip. Please don't kill me. Oh, oh no, I spent more money than I was supposed to. Oh crap. I don't have enough money for rent. Uh, consider this life is a cosmic restaurant. I feed you, they feed you. Who do you feed? Oh, shit. Okay, uh, eat a pizza, and then we need to do a quick, uh, that's a different job. I need a two hour job, four hour job. Two hour job, $24. Please tell me I didn't miss my stupid landlord. Oh, oh, yep, we're definitely good. Hello? You look like a landlady. I'm here for the rent. Don't make me waste my time. Tomorrow I have to take an exam for the distance business school. That'd be $90. Okay, okay, here you go. Great. See? The system works. Without losers like you, there's no winners like me. I'll be back in three days. Your child looks like a potato, you monster. Hmm, you're much more demure when I drive the limousine, darling. She's clearly your limousine driver, okay? In fact, you're my most modest client, and look at you now. She spells it out for me, but I can't make those deductions myself. Apparently, I need to do it here. Uh, security guard, paparazzi, driver. She is a kind of paparazzi as well, but um, now we have everything resolved. Oh, uh, okay. So, I don't actually have anything going on right now. Oh, it just struck me what the purpose of this game is. I get it now, I'm stupid. Hold on a second, we have a phone call to make. Hello, this is Andrew Haynes, a talent agent. How can I help you? Um, I have information about sneaked photos. See how I can put this. Is Ashley Applegate into nudism? Uh, no, of course she isn't. Ashley's one of the most modest actresses of her generation. Well, someone has taken nude photos of her. What the hell are you saying? We were waiting for the right offer for that. Do you know who the bastard is who's taking those photos? It's the driver. As far as I know, it's her very own driver. This is why I needed to know this beforehand. I can't believe it. Leslie Dooley. I'll take that, thank you very much. The traitorous driver, thanks for letting us know. And may I ask where these photos are being taken from? Oh, from the attic. From an attic apartment across the street from her house. Okay, I'll make a note of that. I have to report this right back. If your information checks out, we'll get back to you. I'll call you back. Cage one is now pending. Interesting, okay, and now we definitely know her name, right? We should be able to go to routine observation and reply back with Leslie Dooley. Okay, so now they're gonna verify that information for us. So I, I finally figured it out that the purpose of the game isn't to figure out what's going on in every single cage. You need to do that for money, and then the money is what lets you buy more cages, and we need to get so many cages in five days, so that's the purpose. If I don't figure it out, it's not the end of the world, but I kind of need that money. I, I don't want to be working crappy jobs. I don't really want to sleep right now. I'm gonna go take a four-hour job. Oh, I have emails. Oh. Survey says, dear member, after verifying the relevant details, we are pleased to inform you that the information you sent us is correct. Therefore, we just transferred the agreed reward to you, $75. Thank you very much for contributing to our database on animal behavior, the Primate Observation Club. Okay. And then thumbnail panel. I, I think that's just the picture-in-picture -picture thing. So, we did it. I think. 
What is this? Arrested for taking new photos of actress Ashley Applegate. The so-called wonder driver Leslie Dooley was the photographer taking the shots and then selling them on the black market. How much money she was making from this illegal activity is unknown. So, oh wow. <laughs> no way. So we technically influenced things, but I don't think we fed the monkeys. Is that good? Ooh, ooh, hello? Uh, hello? I'm Andrew Haynes. I represent Ashley Applegates. Ashley Applegates what? <laughs> I just wanted to say thanks for the information about those sneak photos. I've already notified the police. Yeah, I figured that out already. We don't have to worry about anyone invading the privacy of Ashley Applegate anymore. At least until she's old enough to give her consent for that sexy magazine cover. Already committed to. Anyway, the thing is, we wanted to give you a little something to say thank you. What, what, what did I get? I didn't see. Uh, great, you'll receive it in a few hours. You're sure to like it, especially if you're an Ashley fan. All your information checked out, so we're something where I think we're cool. Well, I have to hang up now. We're interviewing candidates to be Ashley's driver. We're looking for someone extremely nearsighted. I prefer to risk running a red light or a stop sign than have Ashley exposed to prying eyes again. Goodbye. Okay. So because I submitted all of the correct information, things went well, hello? Hi, Stanley, how are you? <laughs> I bring package for apartment 36. I bring package for apartment 36. Um, I'm 16. Yeah, yeah, I'll take it. Yeah, that, that's that's this place. McGoover, <laughs> he's got the big eyes. <laughs> well, take package. I got a cherry pie. I stole somebody's cherry pie. I was just admiring my cherry pie, and then somebody knocked on my door. Hey, it's you again. I bring package for apartment 16. <laughs> I bring package for apartment 16. Yeah, this is also 16. What a coincidence. Well, take package. Oh, I got three autographed photos by the famous actress and singer Ashley Applegate with the dedication to a very, very special fan with love, Ashley. <laughs> that can also go on my shelf. And I can sell that for $160, which I might need to do in the future. <laughs> I need to buy more cages. I need the money or I'm gonna die. So here's the thing. It's my first time playing the game. I had to learn the basics, a lot of trial and error, a lot of screwing around for the fun of it. And then I ate 15 boxes of Chinese food and slept for 24 hours because I know I'm gonna die, okay? I'm not gonna be able to afford to buy, what is it, five more cages in the next few hours? It's day six. What's gonna happen now? Probably not good things. I think my, oh, warning. Because you failed to buy the necessary number of cages to pass the mandatory evaluation, you have been expelled. And then, you have been expelled. <laughs> because you didn't have the number of cages needed to pass your evaluation, the club expelled you instantly. That day, as you were leaving your house, you discovered that someone had scratched the following message on your door. Get on with your life. I won't be back. Probably messed mistress, I would assume. Ooh, okay. After her record sales fell and on her agent's advice, Ashley Applegate opted for a racier image, becoming the main character in her own reality show, The Hidden Gates of Ashley Apple Nude. <laughs> Today, her photos of her fully clothed fetch high prices on the black market. Wow. Thanks to advances in genetic engineering, President Walker continued to win re-election indefinitely. His mandate lasted over 250 years. I don't even remember doing anything with that. <laughs> and as for you, you continued your uneventful life, working your shit jobs, and even today, you sometimes gaze out the window wishing you could see a primate whose behavior would make you forget for just a moment who you are and what your life has become. So I didn't die. They didn't rat me out. They just kicked me out. I'm amazed. You know what, I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Do Not Feed the Monkeys, guys. And I gotta say, I really enjoy the game. It's very different, a little difficult to get the hang of, which is why I did so poorly. But if I try again, I get the feeling I would do a whole lot better. I could probably succeed and things would be completely different. I've noticed that every time you start the game, you get four different cages. So when I restart, we'll have a completely different mystery to solve. And if you guys are interested in seeing that, as always, be sure to leave a like on this video, let me know, and I'll return for more soon. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.